all right everyone welcome back to your second swift ui tutorial in which we're gonna set up our systems in order to actually work with swift ui so if you're watching this video i want you to first of all go to this link beta.apple.com and you can find all the links in the description if you want to check them out and see if at the time you're watching this video is this beta software program available for you if it is then enroll into public beta if it just says coming soon to you too go to developer.apple.com slash download now this is a public beta program which is still not available as of now as of recording of this video so we're gonna make use of the developer betas now obviously public betas are much more stable than developer betas but for now if you want to make use of swift ui you have to make use of xcode 11 which is in developer beta as of now so i'm gonna go ahead and download the xcode 11 developer beta from developer.apple.com slash download again links are in the description so if you want to check them out you can go ahead and check that so i want you to do two things first of all get mac os catalina 10.15 beta and go to applications and get xcode 11 beta right just go ahead and download install this profile and download this the updates are relatively very simple to do just follow along with what it's saying um, your mac os catalina update might take you 30 to 40 minutes to complete in general so i'm not gonna just go through that you can just do that pause the video and resume it once you are done for the applications part xcode 11 beta I guess it would download faster if you have a good internet connection, but it might take some time for extraction and process, which Xcode always takes. So that's that. And you do not necessarily need to remove your Xcode 10 stable version. You can just use Xcode 11 beta along with Xcode 10 if you want. Right. So once you have that, what you should be able to see is now if you go to your about this Mac, you should see that you have mac os version 10.15 beta right and uh, whatever your macbook configuration is i'm running a macbook air so yeah and for the xcode part you should be able to see that in xcode beta you should have an xcode beta here right which is your xcode 11. so once you do that you are all set and ready to work with swift ui because essentially that's the only two things you're gonna need in fully understand in fully working with swift ui mac os catalina 10.15 and xcode 11 again if the public beta is available just go ahead and go with that if not just go ahead and use developer beta now once you are done with that let's continue with our swift ui tutorials see you then in the next one